Hey, what's going on guys? So I want to give you guys an update on our 1956 uh, Bel Air that we're doing for Bob. Uh, this particular project is a really cool project. Where we're at right now is that uh, we actually painted the whole car. What I did is actually I painted everything separately by parts. Uh, sometimes that's a little bit difficult. Uh, there's painters that do it different ways. In this case, I had to do it this particular way because it worked for me. So uh, what we did, we painted all the parts. Everything's completely polished and assembled. And what I did now, we painted the body. Once the body comes out of the spray booth, then obviously we're gonna let everything cure. You wanna make sure that everything evaporates, you know, obviously nothing dries right away. So the more you let it sit, the better it is when it comes down to polishing. So that's exactly what we're doing right now. So meanwhile, we're letting it cure. Uh, we're gonna have the guys start assembling all of the inside, which means all of your electronics, all the electrical, all the wirings, uh, start uh, addressing the harness for the motor. So um, they're all pretty much focusing on that. So while they're doing that, we're gonna start massaging the paint, uh, which is what Eddie's doing right now. He's massaging the paint, making sure that uh, we're getting rid of all that orange peel. We don't want any of that. We want this thing to look smooth like a glass. So uh, that's practically our goal here. So uh, meanwhile, Eddie's doing that. We're gonna have the interior uh, department coming in there and mocking up all of their panels, make sure that uh, they all fit properly. And if they need to make any adjustment, right now is the time to do it. So it's looking awesome, you know, all the finishes from the interior, the leathers that uh, Ralph went with, just the design overall. It's a very restored kind of design, but at the same time has really subtle changes to it, which is I really like. And uh, I think that's what we go here. Uh, uh, that's what we go with here at the shop. There's something very timeless that we like to call. So uh, I think you guys will like the finished product. I know Bob is gonna fall in love with his car all over again. You know, and he's not gonna believe his eyes. I know that for a fact. So uh, I can hardly wait to show you guys the finished product, what a car finally looks like. Cause I know it's gonna be one of those diamond pieces like we always put here at the garage. So now I'm gonna break you guys down on, the, uh, on our detailing products. With obviously we like to go here with Meguiar's. Uh, we've been using that product here for a few years now and actually it's been working very very good on us uh, the final results on it are awesome so i actually like to go with that and i want to break you guys down with the uh, compound so what we use here for our it's basically two steps we go with our first step which is our 100 it's our pro speed compound by them uh it actually cuts perfectly out there so i love it it's literally like butter once you start buffing that thing out and we obviously i like to go old school with it which is our wool pad uh, it's a 3M wool pad that we use. Uh, it, it works just fine for me. And obviously, everybody has their different techniques. I like to go with that one with the old school one with the rotary and a wool pad. Very old fashioned. And um, then you come in with your step two, which is your ultra finish polish, your 205 by Meguiar's, which is another awesome product. Once you're done with the 100, you jump to your 205. Once you hit it with your 205 with a foam pad, remember it's very important what pad to use. You want to use your polishing pad. Uh, in this case, I use a 3M as well. I use the 3M polishing pad, so remember that guys. And uh, after you hit it uh, with the foam pad, you're pretty much ready to start cleaning that thing up. So all the residue, I usually wipe it down with the waterless wash and wax by Meguiar's as well. It works awesome, you know, it wipes down all the residue that is left over from your polishing. So you clean it up pretty much in other words with that. And obviously we go with the Meguiar's uh, microfiber towels. These are awesome towels, man. I highly recommend it for you guys. So yeah, those are pretty much our steps. I hope you guys use the techniques and uh, keep those things in mind, very important.